Hello and welcome to Cosmic Journeys. Today, we won't be discussing black holes, the Big Bang, or other galaxies. In this video, I'll be talking about the closest and largest neighbors of our solar system. Let's dive in. The stars nearest to us have fascinated scientists, amateur astronomers, and science fiction writers for decades, if not centuries. While methods for measuring the universe's scale vary, it's generally accepted that the solar system extends up to one light year from the sun in all directions. Beyond that boundary, just a few light years away, are the stars closest to us among the 200 billion in the Milky Way. Each star is a unique hydrogen-fueled ball of fire, much like our sun. The sun, the cornerstone of our system, is the closest star to Earth and is clearly visible during the day. Other celestial bodies visible at night differ in brightness. Scientists have identified the closest celestial objects within 16 light years, pinpointing 57 stellar systems. However, only seven can be seen without optical assistance. These are Sirius, Alpha Centauri, Epsilon Eridani, Procyon, Epsilon Indi, Tau Ceti, and 61 Cygni. Some are not solitary but part of binary or triple star systems, bringing the total number to 64. 13 brown dwarfs, which are much lighter than other bodies, are also included. Proxima Centauri, our nearest neighbor, is 500 times less bright than the Sun and invisible to the naked eye. Discovered only in 1915, it is the smallest member of the Alpha Centauri system. Unlike the Sun, which travels solo through the galaxy, Proxima Centauri orbits the other two stars in a million-year-long journey. To an untrained observer on Earth, Alpha Centauri A and B appear as a single star. This system is the brightest in the sky, with both stars resembling the Sun more closely than Proxima. Proxima's cooler temperature of 2,700 degrees Celsius contrasts with the Sun's 5,500 degrees. In August 2016, scientists found a planet the size of Earth orbiting Proxima Centauri, named Proxima b. This rocky exoplanet, at 1.3 Earth masses, could potentially harbor water due to its optimal distance from its star. Proxima b orbits 7.5 million kilometers away and is likely tidally locked, always showing the same face to its star. It would take a spacecraft about 70,000 years to reach Proxima Centauri. Despite advancements in telescope data, it's still unclear if Proxima b is habitable. Next is Barnard's star, another red dwarf and the fourth nearest star, located in the constellation Ophiuchus, 1.7 light years beyond Proxima. Though smaller and less visible, Barnard's star is known for its rapid movement toward the Sun and will eventually be closer to us than Proxima. Its color indicates its surface temperature, much like a heated metal rod changes color. Despite extensive efforts, no planets have been confirmed around Barnard's star. In the Southern Hemisphere, the constellation Vela holds another cluster of brown dwarfs. It's our second closest star system after the Sun and is challenging to observe from Eurasia, with the best views in February. Gamma Velorum, the brightest star in Vela, is known as the spectral gem of southern skies for its bright emission lines. This star, 800 light years away, is part of a multi star system with at least six components, including some Wolf Rayet stars. The solar system, comprising the Sun and the celestial bodies bound to it by gravity, represents a minuscule part of the vast cosmos. Beyond the orbit of the furthest planet lies an enigmatic and largely unexplored frontier. The boundaries of our solar system are demarcated by the heliosphere, the Oort cloud, and the interstellar space that lies beyond. Exploring these realms reveals a tapestry of cosmic phenomena, from the interstellar medium to the distant reaches of the galaxy. The heliosphere is a vast, bubble-like region of space dominated by the solar wind, a stream of charged particles emitted by the Sun. This bubble extends well beyond the orbit of Pluto and acts as a shield, protecting the solar system from the high-energy cosmic rays that pervade the galaxy. The boundary where the solar wind pressure balances with the interstellar medium is known as the heliopause. Beyond the heliopause lies the interstellar medium, a tenuous mixture of gas and dust that fills the space between stars in the Milky Way. The interstellar medium is not uniform. 
It consists of varying densities and temperatures, including cold molecular clouds, warm ionized gas, and hot diffuse plasma. These regions can influence the formation of new stars and planetary systems, serving as both the birthplace and the graveyard for celestial bodies. Encircling the solar system at a distance of up to 100,000 astronomical units, O, is the Oort cloud, a spherical shell of icy bodies. These primordial remnants from the early solar system are thought to be the source of long-period comets that occasionally journey into the inner solar system. The Oort cloud is hypothesized to be influenced by the gravitational perturbations of passing stars and the tidal forces of the Milky Way. The exact structure and composition of the Oort cloud remains speculative, as it is too distant to be observed directly. However, its existence is inferred from the behavior and trajectories of comets. The study of the Oort cloud provides valuable insights into the formation and evolution of the solar system, as well as the dynamic interactions between the Sun and its galactic environment. Closer to the Sun than the Oort cloud but still beyond Neptune lies the Kuiper Belt and the Scattered Disk. The Kuiper Belt is a circumstellar disk populated by small icy bodies, including dwarf planets like Pluto and Haumea. These objects are remnants from the solar system's formation, offering clues about the early stages of planetary accretion and migration. The scattered disk, overlapping with the Kuiper belt, contains objects with highly eccentric orbits likely influenced by gravitational interactions with Neptune. These regions are rich in volatile compounds such as water, methane, and ammonia, which could provide resources for future space exploration. Human exploration beyond the boundaries of the solar system remains in its infancy. The Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft, launched in 1977, have crossed the heliopause and are now traversing interstellar space. These probes continue to send back valuable data about the conditions in this uncharted territory, providing a glimpse into the vast expanse beyond our Sun's influence. Interstellar travel poses significant technological and scientific challenges. The distances involved are staggering, with even the closest star system, Alpha Centauri, lying over four light years away. Advancements in propulsion technology, energy generation, and life support systems will be essential for humanity to venture beyond the solar system. Beyond our solar system lies the vast expanse of the Milky Way galaxy, a barred spiral galaxy containing hundreds of billions of stars. Our sun resides in the Orion Arm, a minor spiral arm located about 27,000 light years from the galactic center. The galactic neighborhood includes various star systems, stellar clusters, and nebulae, each with unique characteristics and potential for discovery. The search for extraterrestrial life and habitable exoplanets drives much of the current exploration of our galactic neighborhood. Discoveries of exoplanets in the habitable zones of their parent stars have fueled speculation about the potential for life beyond Earth. The study of these distant worlds can provide insights into the conditions necessary for life and the diversity of planetary systems in the galaxy. Beyond the boundaries of the solar system lies a realm of immense complexity and wonder. From the protective heliosphere and the enigmatic Oort cloud to the interstellar medium and the vast reaches of the Milky Way, the cosmos offers an infinite array of phenomena to explore. As humanity's technological capabilities advance, the exploration of these distant regions promises to unravel the mysteries of the universe. The universe is full of wonders, and as we continue to explore the cosmos, who knows what other incredible discoveries await us. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this journey into the unknown, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Cosmic Journeys. Stay curious, and until next time, keep exploring the stars.